do you think non-technical folks would probably just almost read the summary or just because <laughs> they're not going to probably go into the depth so it's almost less would less is more maybe or simplification is key or... i i would generally think that they will not read anything past like the front two pages if that's like the summary of it and they shouldn't necessarily feel like they have to they, they may put their thumb in the deck and just go and just go through and go yep looks like a lot of stuff in there they might look to see if there's a table with colors in it so they go oh these are red these are bad so they may literally thumb through it to look for like the colors or the things like that and that's okay because then they can go let me ask about these again later but the first two pages being the summary the non-technical bits are pretty pretty key and that's the stuff that i'm saying is like really like you're saying as well maybe like less exciting to write but so important and maybe even in some regards, more important the first time you work with a client, because this is the stuff that defines like, look, see, we provided you value. And this is how you're going to make use of that value. Because again, like I'm the one who signed off on the contract maybe. And so I'm saying, look, see, like to my leadership, wow, these guys, look, they're saying that these things have been here and boy, this is really a big deal. And doing a pen test right and having these results in a way that me as maybe a less technical leader could really digest them and not only just digest them myself, but explain them to others is a big deal. It's funny. A couple of years ago, I was doing some like some cybersecurity reporting for a client. And I, I really, I showed them the equivalent again of a two page summary of our finding it entirely in non-technical terms. And they liked it and they found it interesting, but I got a ho-hum sort of sense from them. I sat back with my technical folks that were with me and we were thinking about what we could do differently that may be able to like zhuzh it up, make it just a little more intriguing for them yeah. okay. so that they could feel like they're part of the game. And what we did was we actually wound up adding screenshots for basically like terminal work. So like we said, look, if you can see here, we entered this prompt in and you can see here the output from it. And it just we just had it as basically an illustration in the summary piece. And they loved it. They glommed onto it. They, it was like, like they felt like they were just put into the, like the 1990s movie Hackers, where they're like, ah, I'm part of it now because I'm looking at like a terminal screen. And it was like, so we didn't put the words around it in any more technical terms. We just said here in this example on the screen, you can see that when we entered this command in to look for such and such, we found this kind of stuff present. And just sometimes, again, while they want to read the non-technical bits, sometimes they want to feel like you're not just talking to them at the level of puppets on a string or something like that. You're talking to them like adults too, yeah. because sometimes technologists will be like, oh, let me explain it to you in the simplest terms. So that's fine sometimes. But it's also for you not to dumb it down too much. So they want to see that, look, see, they are going in and looking at code in this way. They do have Kali Linux installed and they are actually looking at these research like services because I can see the results from this or that service out there. So don't dumb it down when you make it non-technical. Give them like components so they can feel that technical stuff is in there and it's baked in and let them, if they want to ask questions, have enough there that they can ask you questions intellig intelligibly so that maybe they'll become a smarter consumer for it. Brilliant. So you've just completely removed like the them and culture from the from that process then. You've made them really feel like you're all together on one team. I, ideally, yeah, but they, they have to be ready to meet you there. It's not like you can do this every time. It's not like every client is ready to gauge on that fact. You can lay out there, this is something we've done with other clients and they've really gotten a lot out of it. And I'm going to present it to you now. And they may not be, they may have something else going on and they can't really focus on it. But if you can get them to engage in it, and a lot of times you can, but not always, then you can get them to really become a smarter consumer of these things. And any kind of organization wants smart, well-trained consumers. Consumers like that feel like you're partnering with them and not just yeah. selling to them. Yeah. And like when you lose that link, a lot of times that's when you lose that real loyalty that your customers have. And so this is, if whether you're internal doing testing or you're part of an organization that does testing for other companies, this is just a way to think about it that again, making it non-technical is great, but still offering a glimpse into how the technology creates the storyline you're providing is just a way to offer somebody a glimpse into being a smarter consumer of the report. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Just to go back a few sentences as well, you mentioned about sometimes technical people can be like, I think essentially a little bit patronizing, which I think is true, <laughs> which I think is true. I think is so true. So really just ultra self-awareness and just not let's say, not making them feel stupid. Yeah, it's of course. And it's, I mean, we've all been to like hacker conferences and there's always somebody smarter at the hackathon or whatever. And it's, we're all expecting we're a little bit Mr. Robot, but there's other, some other Mr. Robot out there that's going to humble us. I've done a lot of this in the past too. But so that, that humbling feeling, clients are already going to get that because they're relying on you for something they themselves know they can't do. But so that's out there. But it's to them, they feel like they're approaching 
the wizard in Wizard of Oz. And there's this, there's the curtain and there's this lightning and there's this craziness. And they're just like, oh, wow. Okay. Until the wizard behind it is revealed. And he's just some dude hiding underneath something out there. It's like that kind of thing where it's cool. Be vulnerable. Let them see that you're just, you may be the wizard here, but you're just also some dude or some woman that's presenting this information. And that's okay too. So that that's exactly right. Like feeling intimidated does not build the same relationship or provide the same insight as being a little vulnerable and being able to take the time to accept that maybe the way you're explaining it could be wrong. And maybe you need help from the person receiving the message to make sure that they're getting it and that you're asking them questions too, to see if they really appreciated what they're getting out of it. 